When you bring in one Revit project into another Revit project, the project that is hosting those particular Revit projects is actually known as the host project. So at the moment, we are in the training project that is known as new project in your working files, and that is going to be your host project. Now at the moment, if we look in the project browser and go right down to the bottom, so can you see you slide right down to the bottom of the list here, there's a Revit links section there. And if I just minimize it like that, it says Revit links, click on the plus sign, and it will tell you if any Revit projects are linked to your host project. Now at the moment, there is one that's linked, and it is the training project existing, which again is in your working files. But there's a red cross next to it, which indicates that it's not loaded. So I can actually right click on it there, and I can reload it there if I want to. I can also, I'll just hit escape there, go up here to the insert tab, click on manage links. I can select in the Revit tab there, there's my training project existing. It's not loaded. I can reload it there too. This is the main management page. It's like a list of all the projects and also any CAD drawings you might have linked as well. So it's more of a management tool that allows you to load and unload. Once you've got your Revit link set up, though, you can use the project browser here, and it's actually much more effective to use the project browser. So what I'll do is I'll right click on the training project here, which is the existing one coming into the host project. And as you can see there, there's a reload option. So if I reload that now, it reloads it up based on the settings that I use when I originally load it, which are, in this case, auto origin to origin. So that's now loaded up. It's right there. And the existing training project has that steelwork that's come in. Now, the lovely thing about the browser is I can click there, right click, and I can copy. And you'll notice I can select all instances. I can create an instance. So if I click on create instance now, I can create an instance of what's come in from the existing project into the host project. So you can see there, I can put that anywhere I want to into my host project, which means in essence, I'm copying from the other project that I've brought in. Very, very useful if you've got any structural elements that you need to copy in a known format like those there, for example. Now, I'm not going to insert those. I'm going to hit escape. But the other thing I can do is I can right click and I can select all instances may be visible in the view, and it highlights them all for me and shows me what I've brought into the host project. As soon as I do that, you'll notice I'm in Modify, Revit Links, and I've got the usual things like Move, Copy, Rotate. I can mirror a Revit link. So I can select all these objects, and they might have come from another project that I've done previously that I know the steelwork, I need to use it because it's in the layout I want. So I can then bring that in manipulate it using the modify tools to work in a different project, for example. Now, I really like this browser tool because I can select all instances. I can match as well. So if I click on match there, I can go and match properties from an existing steel structure to another part of the project. Again, I'm not going to do that, but the tools are there. I can select multiple like so, and I can go and select what I want to select and match it to another part of the project. In this case, I'm not going to. I'm going to cancel that. But you can see how that tool would work very effectively. So make sure you check your Revit links down here in the project browser. So here, you've got your Insert tab, where you actually just manage the link. You physically manage the link, the file path, the server path, where it is. And down here in the browser, you go to Revit links. And here, you can right-click on the linked project and edit and use tools that are available to you in Revit Structure.